Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Angel's Travel and Hotel Room Reviews. Uh, I'm Angel. Uh, so we're in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey uh, this week. Uh, we come here a couple times a year, so you guys will see a couple, some of the other videos. We usually stay in a different property every time. Uh, this time we're staying at the Claridge Hotel in Atlantic City. It's a Radisson owned property and we're in room 1014. It's an oceanfront view room. So I'm going to show you guys the room. here all right so first walk in you have your hallway all right you got a closet here for your uh, nice uh, mirror built into the door I don't think there's a light for the closet I don't see a light for the closet so you kind of have to just make your way around but it's a big closet you got a safe on the bottom um, and then you have your uh, mirror there's your closet uh, over here is the bathroom. I really like the bathroom. Uh, the hotel is supposed to be like a old themed hotel, kind of like the Roaring Twenties. Uh, but uh, you know, I, and I, and I kind of do get that vibe and theme when I come in. I'll show, and I'll record the lobby a little bit and play it for you guys. But this is the bathroom. Uh, this is not uh, Roaring Twenties, but it's still uh, it's nice because you uh, you know you want to have those nice amenities when you stay in a hotel. You have your shampoo lotion, soap, and things of that nature. You've got your hair dryer over here. And then you've got your uh, bathroom over here, which I actually like the uh, the shower. It's really nice. Uh, it's got this like uh, this nice tile. Uh, it's nice and big. You can step right into it. Um, yeah, I really do like the bathroom. The floor is really nice. Now let's check out the rest of the room. So over here, they provide you with the Keurig, which is nice for your coffee in the morning. Uh, you've got a couple K cups here. Um, I think everybody knows how to use one, so I'm not going to go over that. But like I said, it's a Radisson property, so you have two go cups. You have a uh, Claridge Hotel branded coffee mugs as well. Don't take them because they'll charge you for them. Uh, nice little study area here. It's not a lot of space, so if you have a laptop or you plan on doing some work, uh, you might have to remove some of the coffee stuff because, as far as I can tell, this is the only work area in the room. This room in particular, 1014, is a joining room. You want to make sure that's locked if you're not with folks, uh, with friends, so that uh, you know no one comes into your room in the middle of the night. Uh, so this is the room, right? The bed is pretty nice. It's a nice big king size bed. Uh, you've got the headboard over here, which is uh, very interesting. I think it's like compressed wood. Yeah, it's like well, it feels actually really solid in the wood. The lamps, again, very. They're trying to do the old school theme here. Like I said, 20s theme, uh, but then the the draw is not really 20s. Uh, but you know, like I said, they're trying. Uh, you got your flat screen TV here. Uh, you've got your refrigerator. I don't know if it's a mini bar. No, it looks like it's empty. So if you bring your own booze, they do have bottled water here. Uh, you got some nice storage here for clothes. So that's always good. These are like no slam, I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice little uh, chair with a vintage picture of Atlantic City. Uh, so as you can see there, uh, they, there's a lot of vintage pictures uh, for this hotel. And then of course you got your view. So the window's a little dirty, but we'll focus more on the top part of it. The view is very nice. This is the 10th floor and uh, I like that we have a nice view of the ocean. Uh, you got the park down there. Bally's is right across the street. Uh, so, you know, it, it's definitely uh, a convenient location to the beach if you're going to be here in the summertime. It's still winter, so unfortunately we won't be going down to the beach. Uh, and it's very, very important to note that this property is only a hotel. Uh, it is not a casino. Okay, so what that means is, is if you want to go to a casino, you want to play like I do, I'm going to have to either take a walk to Bally's or uh, go get the car and uh, and drive to one of the other casinos to play but if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the casino and you want to just come to a hotel relax where it's nice and quiet uh, they've got a nice rooftop bar here um, they've also got uh, they've got a nice lobby lounge area uh, they have an indoor pool um, it's really nice we're gonna go check it out they also have a nice restaurant they've got a fitness center so all the amenities that a standard hotel would have they have here uh, so, you know, it's definitely not, uh, it's budget friendly, um, you know, especially if you're, you look at some of the hotels, it's actually a Saturday here in Atlantic City, and it's very, very expensive to stay at some of these hotels uh, on a Saturday. So this hotel is very budget friendly for that. 
uh, and it could be because it doesn't have a casino. So there you have it. This is the room. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if you have any uh, concerns or questions about the property in particular or Atlantic City in general. Thanks.